Down continues with Yasmina Alston. She's live at Atlanta Police Headquarters for us. And Yasmina, some experts say gun violence in general is a big part of the city's crime problem. Yeah, that's right. And the city of Atlanta is seeing a lot of gun violence and also an increase in homicides. But one expert that we spoke with says all of the crime may not necessarily be tied to gangs. There's a huge focus on gangs in Atlanta, with the district attorney's number one focus targeting them. District attorney Fani Willis says gangs are connected to much of the city's crime problems. But what role does gun violence in general have in Atlanta's crime? I certainly think um, that the, the nature of, of the um, gang violence is, is um, in flux and changing. I'm, I'm not sure the degree to which it accounts for I haven't seen any data that, that suggests the numbers that she's presented. That doesn't mean it's not the case. We spoke with a Georgia State University professor of criminal justice, Dean Dabney, who says he has seen the data showing gun violence and homicides are a big problem. There's certainly an increase in the amount of gun violence that exists on the streets, um, in and around clubs. And uh, I think there are some patterns that, that can be identified in the incident data that I've seen. I just haven't seen um, data that directly links it to gangs. And while there is a target on gang activity specifically, some families of gun violence victims say they don't want their cases forgotten. This that happened to my grandson, it was very senseless and we miss him dearly. Vicki Bell's grandson, Corey Blunt, was killed in Northwest Atlanta last month. His girlfriend witnessed the murder. He was a real genuine person. He uplifted everybody. He wanted everybody to be great. The 21-year-old was shot on Sunset Avenue after an altercation. The family desperate for justice for their loved one and hoping this case doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Justice will be served, but I just need the community help and the police department help. And we did reach out to Atlanta police about that homicide. They tell us there are no updates right now. Live in downtown Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Thanks, Yasmina.